Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Jared, and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Okiku. I don't know that much about this game, but it has a creepy doll in it, so I'm already getting the fire ready. So without further ado, let's just dive straight in. A famous doll named Okiku is stolen from a temple by Heiku, the owner of Saki Bar and Restaurant. He believes the doll will help his failing business and bring more customers. You're incorrect, sir. Shortly after bringing the doll to the restaurant, strange and horrifying events begin to occur. Heiku is forced to temporarily close the restaurant. He then finds Minato, a young student with an interest in mysteries and the paranormal. How convenient. Heiku tells you he'll pay you if you can solve the mystery and calm the spirit of the doll down. You head out one evening on your scooter to begin your investigation. Will you solve the mystery or become another victim of Okiku? Only one way to find out. Oh. Finally, I'm here. I think my uncle Heiku left a spare key to the front door near the Buddha statue outside. Wow, look at the stars. Oh, that's so cool. Saki bar. Buddha statue. New objective. Find the front door spare key to enter the Saki bar and restaurant. That's not Buddha. Where's Buddha? Buddha, Buddha. Oh, is Buddha down there? I don't want to go down there. If Buddha's down there, I'm not interested. Where? Why? We are not a very good paranormal investigator. If we come to a paranormal situation without a flashlight, press tab to view carried items. I have no carried items. Oh, Buddha. There's the Buddha. Is that it? There it is. We got a key, and there's a bug in there. Why is there a bug in your vase, Buddha? All right, well, I already hate this, so let's just go inside and freaking proceed. I'm here. Oh, creepy doll, please don't take my soul. You can hide under tables. I love that the first hint I get upon entering this restaurant is that I can hide under tables. Are you sure I can hide under tables? Because it doesn't seem like I can. Oh, there we go. I'm hiding. Well, this is horrible. Examine. Um, note. Good God. Okiku Lua, page one. A young man purchased a doll that would later on claim the name Okiku as her own for his two-year-old sister. The doll was brought to Sapporo by a 17-year-old for his two-year-old sister Okiku. He was, he was touring the region for a maritime exhibition and the doll instantly drew his eyes. The perfect little thing sat on the shop window enticing him. He didn't think twice. He went in and instantly purchased the figurine for his sister and even used the last of his money for it. At about 40 centimeters tall and dressed in a traditional kimono, the doll was exquisite. Its hair was raven black and cut to roughly shoulder length, in a traditional Okapa hairstyle. The eyes like piercing coals that seem to swallow everything up in their gaze. That's a great description of something someone should have. The doll was mesmerizing and enchanting, something that took your breath away. He went back home and gave the doll to his little sister. His sister fell in love with the doll immediately. It transformed into Okiku's favorite toy, and more importantly, her best friend. Okiku played every day with the doll, took it everywhere, and treated the figuring like a little sister. She would talk and prattle with the thing, feed it, sleep with it. She decided to call the doll Okiku, a mirror duplicate of herself. The doll never left Okiku's side. Um, wonderful. Freaking great. Is that my grandfather or something? I don't know. Oh, good. Is that a tape recorder? Oh, what's this? Sake container. And a tape recorder or a radio? Yeah, we could just turn that off. Don't need to listen to any more of that. What am I supposed to actually be doing? Like, I'm not actually a paranormal investigator. Like, what and how? I'm just leaving. Bye. Getting on my scooter. I'm outie. I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay, well, I am a paranormal investigator and I'm a professional. Let's rob the till. Examine. Why? What is this? A jukebox? Oh, and a bathroom? We get to listen to music while we poo. Perfect. Absolute bliss. What was that? Some sort of paranormal activity? I should investigate the area and read all the information I can find. Is that really necessary? <laughs> okay, little man. What were you? Lore page number two. Then, a year later, tragedy struck. The little girl who owned the Okiku doll died. Yellow fever had descended on the land and robbed the family of their little girl. The little girl died gasping for air and pain and afraid. Jesus. While the doll was held firmly in her grasp. She was only seven years old. The family wanted to bury the doll along with Okiku, but circumstances and governmental oversight 
prevented this last act of kindness on their part. The doll was never laid to rest with Okiku and was instead brought to an ancient temple. Ooh! Ooh! Hi! Hiding! Ooh! Do I need to hide? I don't know. Hello! Ooh! Play hide and seek? I don't want to. I'll have this food. Okay. How do I play hide and seek? Precisely, do I just hide first, or am I seeking? I mean, I found her, so I'm imagining... I imagine that I'm the one that hides now. I see you! Hi! Please don't kill me. Ew. Am I... So, am I... I'm guessing the doll just hides, and I have to go find the doll every time. Kind of a one-way, like, game here. Ooh! Hi! Oh, you're horrible. You know that, don't you? You know that, don't you? I see you again. You're not very good at this. Oh, it's going to the bathroom. Come back. I have to burn you. I mean, I hope it's just like, hey, we're playing a game. I don't have to kill this person. We're having so much fun. Oh, hi. There you are. How many times do we have to do this? There you, oh, yeah, you're on the pooper. I see you. You think this is funny, don't you? Oh, you think this is hilarious? Oh, my Jesus. Oh, oh not fair. I don't think it's working. Electricity box is outside. But it's burning doll. Go on. Be out of here. <laughs> I barely had time. That's unfair. And unfortunate. Okay. Electrical box. I'm assuming it's around the side of the house. Or the, uh, the, the restaurant. Whatever. Ah. There it is. Oh, good. One major switch. It's always just one switch to turn the power back. Oh, Jesus! What? Hi. Ooh, you're big. You've been here. You've been eating here too much. You should not be here. What was that? Was that the spirit of Okiku? Stop. I have no light and I cannot see. I mean, I'm not coming back in because, you know, you're a doll and you're on fire and I'm leaving. Hi. Oh, you don't see me. Okay, so now that I've turned the power on, it's still a burning doll. That hasn't, that hasn't changed. Investigate tea rooms and avoid Okiku. Well, what are the tea rooms? I don't know what its range of vision is. Oh, it's coming. It's coming! Ooh! No, I'm hiding. You cannot see me. This is the point of the game, and I can hide. You don't know I'm here. You can leave now. You're too warm. Tea room, tea room. I'm investigating. Turn the jukebox on. What do I do? What am I investigating? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! No! No, bad! Hide, hide, hide! It's stupid and doesn't know. It's stupid and doesn't know. Oh yeah, you don't, you don't know I'm here. You don't know I'm here. Piss off. Oh, don't come back. What are you coming back for? No, don't do this. Must go faster. Must go faster. Oh, no. No. Damn it. Damn you. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. I hate you. Get away from me. You're ugly. Ooh. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Ah, you're horrible, too. Everything's horrible. What is happening? Stop. What do I do? Saki. Give me it. Uh, I don't know the code. And I'm stuck in here. She's killing me. This is bullshit. What do I do? Okay, fine. Just kill me. I've clearly failed. Can I hide under this table? I can. Ha <laughs> ha, you stupid idiot. You can't find me. I'm smarter than you. You're a dumb doll. Yes, be gone. I'm tired of your presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep looking at me as you leave. Can we get out of here? Okay, I don't know what the deal is with these weird baby things. Oh. Is there a code underneath? Three. Seven, one, three is the code. Seven. Oh. One. Three. Got him. And a key. Give me. What's the key for? I have no idea. But what's the key for? I haven't found anything locked. Oh, this door that was here. 
that I totally- Oh, God. Hi. Can you stop? Can you please just stop? Locate the shrine and her past. You might- Oh, Jesus! Hey, you're the worst! Nice shrine you got here. Nice, nice... Oh, yeah? Nice radio. Yep. Oh, hi. Hi! How you doing? Jesus! Frick! Get off of me, you little bastard! Get off of me! It's not funny, first of all. Okay, a letter. Lower page number three. Hokiku, the doll, was first moved to the family's altar, a common practice in certain Japanese households to commemorate the dead. The small shrine celebrated their daughter and marked their passing into the afterlife. That's when the strange events started to occur. One day, the family started to notice the doll's hair was getting longer. Once a traditional shoulder length cut with the ends now mangled mess of split ends reaching down past her waist. Creepy. It was scruffy, different colors. It felt different. At night, they started to dream of Okiku, and sometimes the doll would appear by their side come morning. The chilling events intensified and grew into full-blown acts of spiritual infestation. <laughs> Lights flicking on and off, bangings in the house, noises and strange voices, things being set on fire. And even Okiku duplicating herself and showing up multiple places the closer the year got to certain key dates. Okiku's birthday and the day of her death. Over time, they were certain, and town shame and spiritual leaders occurred, concurred, and the daughter's soul was in fact trapped within the doll. Damn. Bummer. Many years later, the family relocated to a different district. They had now become accustomed to Okiku and had grown fond of their daughter's relentless... <laughs> restless spirit, not relentless. To them, it was a magical and unique opportunity to interact with the dead. Not desiring to take Okiku with them, fearing that they had fueled her magic was proximity to the daughter's grave, the family approached the local temple and asked them to take care of the doll. The temple by now had heard countless stories of the amazing doll, the haunted doll whose hair grew every year. They were fascinated, the priests accepted the charge, and started taking care of Okiku. Over time, they managed to confirm the veracity of some of the claims, particularly that the hair does indeed grow. The priests even sent out cut samples of the hair for scientific analysis. Like priests do. Scientific examination of Okiku proved that the hair was that of a human child. Regularly, the hair gets a trim and the doll stays happy and content. As the years pass on, the doll's fame grew and her powers further developed. She's bolder now, invading the dreams of the priest and those that come to visit her. She's stronger, her hair growing faster and wilder. Do we have to cut her hair? Like Samson? The last event driving tourists mad is the frightening claim that the mouth of Okiku is slowly opening and that if you dare peer inside, you may be able to glimpse something like baby teeth sprouting like weeds from porcelain gums. Fantastic. Jesus! No! Hide! How dare you? Unless she's burning the place down. Maybe that wasn't her. Okay, everything's burning. Escape the sake bar. Oh, gladly. I can't stand up and I can't hide under the tables, apparently, because they're all burning. There we go. The door. Let me out. Ha! I have escaped, but I can't uncrouch. Later. I'm sorry. The place burned down. I'm really, really sorry. I'm not even going to take my scooter. I'm not even taking my scooter. I'm just leaving and I'm in a crouched position. Hey, are you my new friends? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Why? Why is this happening? I think that was the true Okiku. I guess we became another victim, even though we did everything we were supposed to do, but we clearly were not professional. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this game. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Do it or Okiku will find you. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.